guys. Hi, hello. Let's see if I can straighten that up. Just when I think it's straight, it's not. How's everybody doing tonight? Sorry that I'm a little bit late. I had an interview on my page just now. And... Sorry, guys. Darn it. You wouldn't know how much time I spent setting up and then to find out it's still not set up right. I really apologize. Hi, Missy Yoder. Thank you, dear. You guys, we are gonna work on a very large canvas today. Uh, you might notice that I have different art installations on the back wall. Um, both of those are my actual canvas drop cloths that I have turned into my artwork for the studio as well as several projects that I have going on. So good evening, everybody. I'm so thrilled you're here. It's day 98 of 100 is what I'm calling it. Technically, it's day 101 of 104, but Who's counting? Clearly I'm not because I counted, I miscounted. Um, first time I've ever caught you live. You are, well, thank you, Mary Beth. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you so much. Um, this is a painting that I started, I don't know, another house, totally different room, um, probably been five, six months ago. And I ended up taking some photographs with it and those photographs are actually, I believe they're on my, my website, but um, I finally decided two days to go, no. I finally decided it was time to work on it some more. I basically got the backdrop, I've never sealed it. We've moved, we've brought it to the new house and I'm really ready to do something fun and give it more of a modern abstract look. Oh, by the way, Matt's here. Hello. Hello. Um, we have, well, no, nope, I can't tell them. I keep thinking I'm going to tell them what we're doing on our next video and I can't tell them. Um, cause I, I hate secrets. I like to tell things. I know you're not very like, good at I'm like, guess what's secrets. going on? Well, like with me, like, guess what's going on? Um, so this is one that I've, like I've said, I worked for so many days on this and I ended up hanging it above my blue velvet sofa and I took a whole bunch of photos. Hi, Heather Watson. Hi, Kristen. Hi again. Hi, Patty. I saw you. Hi, Robert. Um, I have it on there and I never finished it. So that's why it's, it's not sealed. Um, it's a, it's got some acrylic on it. It has some DIY, uh, clay paint. And like I said, the two are installed on the walls. That's drop cloths that I've been working with for several weeks and uh, now have them on the wall. And I think, gosh, it kind of adds a lot to the wall in the studio. Matt, do you like them? Sure. Sure. Also have a few projects going along um, with them. So Shaz says, whoop, whoop, more mats. That's fun. Um, here's a little thing. I got this in the mail and it's electric blue. And apparently it's mica that my friend Amy Sadler of Chateau Chic sent me. And hey, Kathy, I was gonna text you earlier. Um, she sent me this and thought I would like it. So she's got, um, it's basically the color blue iris. You see it's me and I thought this might be a good thing to start here. She's actually added clear wax with it. Um, she sent it to me and she thought I would love it. It was such a nice gift. And I thought this would be the perfect piece to start they want to know what, what, I don't know what this is. They want to know what's on your finger. On my finger. Oh, tape. <laughs> That's tape. Um, the last couple of days I've been wearing it just to, it's like a ligament kind of got strained on that last art series when I was kind of working and putting, it was like the framing day, the framing day. No, 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 it wasn't framing day. It was shipping day. I did something. So I'm just kind of babying it so it doesn't hurt. I'm reminding myself not to use it. Look at this, guys. So I'm using the um, three inch dusty from Pink Pixie. And I don't know really what I wanna do, but my goodness, I thought, look at this. And I don't know, can you see the bottom of the painting, Matt? No. You can't see the bottom of the no, painting? No, I'll, I'll do it. Okay. You just need to go down. I'll just let you adjust it. So I am just gonna go ahead and get some of this color on here now. And I, like I said, I've never used this before. It's mica and it's a product that she she uses with her resin and um, I, I've never used it and I'm pretty excited about getting to use it. So I wanted to add a little bit of blue just so we could see what color it is. This is five feet by four feet, you guys. So I apologize if I'm walking all around here, but 
I love blue. Those of you know, I love blue. So I'm going to try that out. And I think I'm going to put a really, we've got some really dark blue iris down here, but I want to put a big chunk of really dark blue in here. And then see what I can do with that. Uh, la, 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 la. It smells like baby powder in here. Um, she told me she put baby powder in it. I don't know why. But it does. It smells like a little baby buddy after the bath time, I think. Now, that one, I think you cut off part of the... Mm -hmm. what? Thank you. Did I go? You went a little bit too far on that one. Okay. delicious color. Yes. Ha! Huh? I am loving that. Okay. So, so what are you doing? I don't know. This is totally abstract woods. I'm sure that here in a moment someone will say, "Oh, I see ya." And, "Oh, I see ya." I see ya. <laughs> Fill in the blank. Fill in the blank. Right now, I'm just playing, you guys. I did not want to start a new piece of furniture, and I just needed a little bit of a break, and then we finger painted the last couple of nights. You guys were awesome helping me finger paint that. Um, I named it You Are Loved, and that piece sold after the live yesterday, so. I got, I have a suggestion. You have a suggestion? Yeah, I, I am the creative assistant, to the assistant. Bring it. Flip the painting, 180 degrees. Sure. And let it drip like halfway, like, looks like like halfway above it, and go down. Does that make sense? Nope. Okay, like, so take the painting in half, right? The bottom half looks like it runs down. Yep. So you flip it 180 degrees. Yep. And then the middle, Okay. and then you let it go down too, so any way you're looking at it, it looks like it's going up or down. Okay, I got you. Does that make sense? Yeah. Does. Give me just a second and I will, okay? I, you guys wouldn't believe how many layers are on this. Like, I worked on this for days, but like I said, it's been about six months ago. And I really just wanted it to kind of be like an explosion of color. You need black. No, black. You really think so? Or are you just messing with me? I'm just saying, it could add a lot of depth. Oh. I was actually thinking yellow, Matt. How big is this piece, by the way? This is 60 inches by 48. I mean, look at this color. I mean, yes, good suggestion. Nice twist, Matt. Can't wait to see that. Bring it, let's go. You're just gonna watch me do it, or? No, I'll help. Okay. I have to take this off. Oh. I got paint on me. You have, babe, don't you hit that piece of paint? Well, furniture. you better scoot over that way. Oh, my word. Sorry, guys. Matt's idea. Sorry, design assistant idea. My idea is going to turn out to be fantastic. Well, hey, it's not like I don't ever do this. I mean, it's not like it's a, like the first time I've done this. But I love it, and I'll do it because I'm here for I'm here for mixing things up. That's right. Okay. All right, you guys, let's get some more colors in here that have not been added before. So I'm gonna, of course, bring in some water lily once Matt opens it for me. I'm not prepared. Okay. Valerie Smith wants to know what this is. 
this is just a piece of artwork that I'm working on. I'm assuming I'm gonna bring in some flowers here shortly. That's my plan. I just wanted to bring in a few more colors on the backdrop. Uh, Vincent said, I took my mom to DIY headquarters last Saturday. She had never been before. The only thing she bought was the water girl. Oh, tell mom thank you. I'm surprised she got out of there with just a water bottle, but I'm certainly... She says she doesn't paint, but she got it for her hair. Oh, oh, <laughs> perfect. She's like, I'll just mist it on the hair. I love it. Uh, Manny Driscoll says, try cherry pick. You think? What do you think? Tony Krebs wants to know what you're doing as well. I don't know, guys. I'm painting. This was one I started, for those of you just popping on, I started this about six months ago. I never sealed it because I knew I wasn't finished with it, but I wanted it for a photo backdrop, and I never finished it. So I got it out today and decided it was time to add some more elements to it, and I'm thinking I'm going to do some large abstract flowers. You guys let me know if you're here for that. I'm going to tell you right now, just turning it upside down mm -hmm. changed the whole way I look at this painting right now. Well, do you like it better the other way? No, I like it better this way. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Why? I don't know. It just... I wonder it, why. It looks like the colors are going up instead of down. Does that make sense? Uh-huh. I don't know. It's just to the right, to the right of you where that pink and purple is. Yeah. It's really cool on the cameras. Right here? No, to the right. Oh. Right Top, yes. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I'm glad that you love it. But I started this back in the old house, honey, before we even put our house up for sale. Like, it, I, I did this a long time ago because I was trying to use it for photos over the, the sofa for mm -hmm. a photo shoot. And right, I just right. thought it is time to do maybe some big abstract flowers. Uh, Yolanda Roman says it looks very Monet. Thank you, honey. I appreciate that, y Yolanda. I know that must be a compliment, 100% yes. I think so. Yeah, and so I'm gonna grab Monet's garden and I'm gonna see, I have no no plan for this other than I do flowers, so it makes sense, right? Sure. I mean, I don't know I mean, what else I, I mean, would... You, you do what you like. Yeah. Uh, Jasmine, I'm sorry, just joined. What is this on? Canvas? This is a five-foot canvas. Yes. It's a big, heavy, huge one. And it's been leaning against the wall in our bedroom since we've moved, and I'm ready to tackle this one. Now, it's going to take several days for sure, um, but I'm here for it. You're almost just kind of like you, you weren't really done with it, now you're revisiting it, right? No, that's what I mean. I never sealed it because I knew it wasn't done. I knew that I needed to add more. I just needed to take a break from it because I spent so long on it. Tony Cribs said she wants some sunflowers on that. Some sunflowers? I don't know if I've ever done a sunflower, Tanya. I just love the mint and the pink. Like, I love the colors in this. Robin Harrison has a question. Sure. Does the, is it mica, M-I-C-A? Yeah. Mica blue have some wax in it? Yes, it does. It's kind of keeping my, um, it's keeping my other paints down here, my acrylics from sticking because it did, it, it created a little bit of a barrier there. Yeah. Derek Carlton, yes, it needs flowers. Hi, Derek, how are you doing? Jen says water lilies. Oh, that's great. It is water lily. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Looks like looks like a pond down low. Mm -hmm. Well, if we do water lilies, then that does not work. No, 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 you do what you want. I'm no, just I'm just saying, I, I like that. So maybe maybe these big, large flowers are up front, and then I can kind of do some lily pads down here at the bottom. Sure. You know what I'm, you do want. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. OK, 
Can you see the bottom when I'm working or no? I probably need to bring it down just a little bit more. What do you always say? My stars. Well, my stars. <laughs> do I say that, honey? Okay, yeah, that's a pretty good picture. Is that better? Uh, Bohemian Mystic Arts, is that on an easel? Yes, it's on two. Two, actually. Matt set it up on two easels, so it's setting on both of them in the middle. They're, they're side by side. This is a neat cup. Kathy, uh, Kathy Linhart. Hi, Kathy. Really neat. The drips are going down from the top to bottom, and the flowers going up. Really neat. Super 3D looking. Thank you. Yeah, I just want to. I just want to. Okay. Let know. Okay. It was my idea. Turkey. <laughs> Where is kissing booth, baby? It's right there. Where? Over there in the in Where? the bin. You're lying. I don't see it. No kissing booth. I don't know. I don't see it. Do you want me to go find you some kissing booths? No, I think I had it yesterday. I feel like I'm looking right at it, but then not. Like, I see red. <sighs> Are you sure you want me to go get you some kissing booth? Can you give me some kissing booth? I knew it. Ah! Uh, okay, so let's do. Okay, someone said cherry picked, right? So let me get some cherry picked in here. What color is kissing booth? It's fuchsia. What do you oh, mean? Fuchsia. What color's kissing booth? You guys, that man. That man. That man. You, that man. Did I have any in the other room? Yes. Okay. We got like a warehouse of paint. <laughs> well, aren't you aren't you happy about that? Uh, yeah, it's great. Okay, good. Getting some of that cherry picked in for whoever it was that wanted some. Okay, kissing booth. Mama H said you should do a Valentine's Day live using kissing booth. Yes, I should. Did you guys know Matt and I did a video last year for Valentine's Day? And it was the story of us. And it's on uh, Debbie Beard's page. She invited us to do a collaboration with Zeb and Jamie and several others. And um, anyway, it was fun. But it's on Debbie's page. All right, Beauty a Luscious, question. My water bottle is not spraying anymore. I don't know what I did. This happened to you before. Did you, um, gosh, I don't know. I still have one from six months ago or a year ago. Um, have you, are you one of those people that hang your water bottle up by the handle? Just curious. I'm not accusing you. I'm just curious if that's you. because that puts a lot of pressure and those people that have done that have had theirs break. Uh, she said, LOL, no. Okay, well then I don't know, honey. I, um, like I said, I have not had that type of trouble we just contact. Uh, I would contact Paint Pixie. Yeah. Contact them and let them know, please. 
That's what They'll I... They'll get you taken care of. That's what we need you to do, for sure. Okay. This is so much fun. I don't know what this looks like because I'm so close to it and it's so big. But I just know this is so much fun. Is no one on with us, Matt? No, nobody's on. Nobody's they've all, on they've all shined out. They just said, hey, great job. See ya. Okay. So you just, hey, have fun. I'll just, okay, uh, I will. I'll just wait for somebody to ask me a question. Okay. I um, Do you have a plan for what you're going to paint Saturday, Woods? Say again? Do you have a plan for what you're going to paint Saturday? I, I've had a few ideas. Um, I've kind of shot them down. You've shot your I own. don't want it to be too complicated. I don't want to blow everybody's mind right off the bat. Ah. You know, if we set the bar really high, right out of the gate, mm. it's hard to go up. So I'm thinking starting low mm. and then building up. Mm. You know what I mean? Sure, Matt. I mean, I'm just, I'm just, sure, Matt. just saying. You sure, know? Matt. Uh, Sarah, what color are you using? Uh, that was Kissing Booth, mixed with cherry picked. Now I'm going to grab some, um, uh, Sue Bergano. Hi, Sue. She said, tell Dion I said hello. Tell her I said hello. Hi, darling. And Miss Sue is my beautiful friend I spoke with yesterday on our one-on-one. -on -one. Honey, she's the one that has the... The home, the in Lake Tahoe, that I was telling you about. Uh, Shaz is here. Love this. Still awake in the UK. It's three oh seven. Shaz, you stay up way Goodness too late every Don't single night. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use some acrylic on this. Oh, Les says hi, Matt. I'm here. How are you doing today? I want to know your hobbies and what you do to relax. Um, okay, those are great questions. Um, let's see. My hobbies are setting up lighting, <laughs> setting up canvases, moving furniture, washing paint brushes. But what do you like to do, Matt? My favorite thing to do is make videos, edit. Um, he likes to watch his kids play baseball. Did I mention move furniture? He's asking you for reels. <laughs> I don't have any hobbies. Uh, I try to stay busy where I don't. I, I heard hobbies are very expensive. At least <laughs> the ones that I've had are expensive. So I try not to have those. And to relax, I find a good movie and yeah. I sit down and yeah, watch Yeah, we it. watch movies. I, I like watch to movies. watch movies a lot. Yeah. I find a lot of meaning in movies. The really dumb movies, too. Oh, we don't watch a whole lot of dumb ones as much as... Well, we watch some really dumb, like, comedies. So, but anyway. Well, Basically, that was a nice question. Yeah, it was a good question. And I'm, if I missed yours, I, I'm going to try to go back through and look. Uh, what green are you using? Uh, that was Mode's Garden. Okay, here's a good question. Uh, it looks like uh, Vintage Melanie. If one is on a budget, what five colors of DIY paint would you buy first? They all look delicious and I want them all, but need to start small. I would buy Vintage Linen because that's one you can mix with any color. I would buy Navy. I would buy the Hay Sailor. And that way you're able to mix it. Um, that way you're able to mix it with the other colors to lighten them up. I would buy Old 57, the turquoise. I would buy a red so you can mix it with other colors and make a pink. And then I would buy Water Lily for Periwinkle. What type of easels do you use? A trans? Yes. We've He's, had some other ones. 
We've had some cheaper ones, but these are H frames from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Sam Creations said, oh, oh my word, my husband said the same thing. Y'all are moving furniture. Huh? When I said my hobby. Oh. <laughs> he does not like to move furniture, so he is totally being sarcastic. Uh, Monique Carlton. Hi. Uh, greetings from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Hi. I have no questions, but I wanted to say that you're my favorite artist. I've hinted to my husband that I'd love to fly out sometime and take a class with you in the near future. Oh, gosh. Well, we hope to meet you soon. That'd be amazing. Thank you so much for the nice compliment. I appreciate that, and I appreciate you watching. Uh, how's Abby? Abby is so much better. She's like, she's like youth a child again she's been taking her toy and running around and hiding it from Matt she won't let Matt get her toy so no she's good thanks for asking Abby's good um, question where did you get your awesome furniture dollies um, we got those I find those at you can buy them at Home Depot Lowe's carries them uh, they're in the moving section uh, like where all the boxes are at or you can there's a place here uh, in Oklahoma called Northern Tool uh, they do. You could probably find them online at Northern Tool. Have them shipped. Amazon probably has them. Uh, Amazon's are cheap. Yeah. They're not good. Oh, they're not good. Okay. No, they're not good. Say Harbor Freight. Matt. Harbor you Freight. Tell people Harbor Freight. Yeah, Harbor Freight. Sorry. That's where most of most everybody's been getting them lately. People are really looking for the yellows in this, Deanna. Oh yes, yellows next, you guys. Let's bring it. The yellow is next. Uh, Bohemian Mystic Arts. Confidence in painting. Does it get better over time? Yes, it definitely gets better. I wouldn't be doing this right now in front of you all. I've never done this like this. This large of a painting. But I guess I'm just kind of treating it like it's a large armoire. So I'm not really thinking about the fact that I'm trying to make this actually kind of look like something. Uh, Laura Johnson, could you tell me what white you are using? Yes, it's white. Titanium white. I'm actually using acrylic for this. And it's from Master's Touch. I have my beadboard over there. Usually when I want a bright white from DIY, I'm going to grab beadboard. Um, but this is what I'm working on right now. Uh, Les Meyer, are you painting lily pads? Yes. I am. Uh, Nancy, what are the canvases behind your painting? Those are my actual drop cloths. I have put them on canvas frames, and um, they're also the same size, and so they're my own artwork, and I will have some, some new projects coming up with those. And then, um, okay, yellow, and Yeah, that's part of a process, but I hung those up today. Don't they look good? I love them. Actually, you can't really see them, but that's what those are. Those are my actual drop cloths behind there. Uh, Vintage Bias is a good question. She says, OMG, what do you do if you are working on a great piece of artwork? It's going great, and then suddenly you paint a boo-boo. I grab my water bottle, my water girl, and I spray it like crazy until it basically disappears. That's exactly what I do. With DIY paint, it's easy because it's clay-based and the water reactivates it so you have more control over it. Now, if it's an acrylic, you have a little bit more difficult time with that, but... Well, somebody would like, uh, Lauren Johnson is, would ask the question of why you're using acrylic instead. Uh, because I just kind of wanted a little bit different color, I guess. I don't know. Guys, you do know. that quite often. You'll you'll kind of mix and match the two. Yeah, with canvas, I, I do I do sometimes a lot, especially with big pieces. I'll be adding in probably some fluorescent here in a few minutes. Uh, Les Meyer is he Les Meyer. He would really like a uh, hummingbird or grasshopper or something. <laughs> it's probably not going to happen, Mister. <laughs> it's probably not going to happen. No. Am I boring you with just the flowers, Mr. Meyer? 
Uh, Susan Norton, so it's okay to get paint splashed onto the drop cloths? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no problem. I have no problem with that. It's where, like, I will go and, and pour my water out on the drop cloth, and I use them a lot. I wipe my hands on them. I have them on the tables where I paint and, and just kind of everywhere. Putting some yellow on, guys. Uh, vintage Vines, uh, does DIY painted artwork tend to fade no. from the sunlight? No, I wouldn't use it if it faded from the sunlight, no. I seal it and I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't use it. It's, our, our um, paint is 10 times more pigmented than other paints in this type of industry. Uh, so they definitely do not fade. Do you seal these canvas paintings with Big Top or another type of sealer? Well, the last few I did, I sprayed an actual um, glossy sealer on them outside because I used my, chalk, my, my oil pencils and I didn't want to mess it up, so I sprayed that really strong smelly stuff outside. <laughs> so I like to use a spray sealer, especially on some of the ones this size. It just depends on which application I used for it. Um, let's see, I need, I'll tell you what I need. Up here. You don't need much up there. Are you sure? I'm positive. I feel like I need some yellow uh, up here. No? Well, I mean, don't. I kind of feel like I want some yellow, man. Okay, do what you want. Thank you. I'm just the assistant. I know, just hold tight. <sighs> I'm having fun. Don't stop me now. Don't stop me now. Uh, Les, where did you get the canvas? Um, Michael's. Michael's Craft Store. Uh, Susan Norton, can you tell us about the knife? The knife? You're using, I'm assuming, the palette knife? Oh. Well, you can get these at Michael's and Hobby Lobby, but this one's from Paris. Um, this actual one I bought at the Paris store when we were there. Bought a bunch of supplies. I just really liked the shape of it and the length that I didn't, hadn't had one like this before. Um, Les says, it's Mrs. Meyer. Mrs. Meyer. Dion. I, well, I, I didn't know your best friend's name is Les. That's true. And he's a guy, so I didn't, I didn't know. I just, I think it's because it's your best friend and I've known him a, our whole, since you were 16. So that's why I assumed, because that's Les, his best friend is Les. Uh, do you use uh, Sue Bergato? Hi, Sue. Do you use a special drop cloth? No. No. Oh, you did yellow. Yes, I love it. This is so much better. Golden tickets, what Debbie said. Well, let's get some. Where is it? Opened a new jar. Let's put some up there with the yellow. Alice, we are not going away. No. I don't know if she was on last night. She may miss. So Alice is joining us, and she says she's really bummed about her family in this group. Aww. And Alice, we're going to be on Wednesdays and Sunday. For sure. For sure. And then Dion will probably pop on quite a bit. That's not going to work. And uh, so we're not going away. No, we're not we're just, going away. It, it's super, super hard doing kids just every night. And so uh, we'll take a little break, but we're still going to come on Wednesdays and Sundays. Yes. About the same time, about 8.30. I'm hoping to create more edited tutorials and edited videos for you guys that are shorter. Um, but we'll still do the live favorite paint show as much as we can, guys. But you can guarantee we'll be on, on Wednesdays and Sundays. We have to prepare for baseball season, and both boys play high school baseball. And so um, they're going to be on different teams, different schedules. And so I'll just be honest with you, we're just, I need to prepare for that as it comes yeah, up. Yeah, and it will be live, Alice, for sure. Oh, yeah. We may just need to go back, honey, because that way they can see the front and be scooted back. Is that back. a little better? Yeah, but I like on this one I can't see the bottom, and then this one I can't see the top still. So I was okay. Come back up. That's too far. There you go. Everybody still in the picture? Yeah, I think so. 
You guys, if you need it tilted a little bit, feel free to tell Matt because he'll he'll move it to wherever we need it, okay? Uh, uh, I want to say Miss Meyer, if that's all right. Uh, I'm an older woman. I'm in my 70s. I enjoy decorating and painting. Hi. I also, with my husband, do a lot of projects. Very nice. Yeah. Well, we're glad you're on here all the time, and I appreciate it. Um, like I said, his best friend's name, what are the odds, right? Or name less. And so I guess I just assumed... And I'm glad that you come on and hang out with us and that you do your projects too. Um, I'm really happy with this, even though I know I have a long ways to go. I'm really happy with the direction that it's taken. So much more interesting than it was an hour ago to me. So I put fluorescent yellow up here, but then I went ahead and added some golden ticket in the fluorescent yellow. canvas you've painted on? This one. That size? Like five feet. Yeah, I have never painted on anything larger than five feet before. Other than the drop cloths. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, Kathy Lenhart, uh, some more blues, per some more blues, purple bottom half, <clears throat> like deep water. <coughs> Excuse me. Agreed. Agree. Just a moment, and I will. Uh, Kathy Cooper, she's a first timer. Thanks for joining, Thanks Kathy. Thanks for hanging out, Kathy. Is this the same way you paint a piece of furniture? Um. Yes and no. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I do the. You know, I do furniture in so many layers. Usually, it takes me longer, more days because of how many days I'm adding on more color and changing it up and waxing and such. But uh, Vintage Vibe, I would love an art wall in my garden to enjoy while sitting out. Yeah. What would what would be good to seal it with for outdoor hanging? That's tough for outdoor hanging. It's yeah, I would. You just probably need to get an oil-based, uh, weatherproof paint. Um, some, something with a little bit of poly in it, if you don't mind it yellowing a little bit. But okay. I like that color. Anymore. Do you ever get your canvases custom made for you? No, I never have done that before. I've thought about buying canvas on the roll, but um, I haven't done that before. We usually just wait for them to go on sale, and then we just go and we load the Tahoe up, don't we, babe? Yes. He loves that, too. So who's coming to McKinney to see us next month? So what color are you using right now? This is blue iris, but I'm mixing it in with some of the um, the purple, the cherry picked, cherry picked, cherry picked. Yeah. yeah. So those combined has that kind of a violet color. Uh, Lori Sharp, can you use other brands? Of the clay and chalk based paint with DIY. Yeah, you can. I live in Wichita, Kansas, and the closest retailer for DIY is in Enid, Oklahoma. Oh. Yeah, you can. Do what you need to do.
Yeah, Nancy, she has, her husband had built some frames for her. Yeah. And she has bought it by the roll. Okay, yeah. I think that's really smart to do. Uh, Judy is going to be at the McKinney class. Yes, Judy. Judy, Judy is going to be there. And who else is coming? Uh, to McKinney? Yeah, to McKinney. We still have tickets available, you guys. I think we just have Judy. It's just going to be Judy. Just that's Judy it. and yep, I. Just Judy, Judy and I. Uh -huh. You, Judy, Debbie. And... and I think she's coming to see more people than that. I know her friend, Rebecca Roy, is coming. Uh, she paints is on here. Yo, 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 what's up, guys? What's up, girl? I have taken an old canvas from six months ago and have re tried to actually finish it by now because it's been sitting unfinished. Well, thank you, Miss Meyer. She gave us a couple dollars, contributed to the uh, lighting and audio fun. Thank you so very much for that. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you being here all, every night. It's so thoughtful. I think the lighting is getting much better. We first bought a new ring light, but he's got to hang some things, and he's basically waiting on me, so don't, don't think that it's me, him because it's totally me. What? Oh, I love these colors. I gotta look at it from a distance, you all. It's kind of big. There you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think you should probably wrap that purple around the bottom a little bit more. What do you think? I think so. You think so? You I think, think I do. Good? I think I do. Uh, Judy says Lori and Rebecca are coming too. Lori is our local DIY retail dealer. And I told them they need to come. Well, I hope they do. Oh, no, they're coming. Um, what size is that canvas again, honey? This is 5 by 4. It's 60 by 48. It's enormous. <laughs> Basically, it's enormous. Right? It's pretty big. Yeah. It's hard to find a wall to hang that thing on. Yeah. <laughs> well... I think someone will have just the right wall and someone's going to want this. Uh, Nancy says, how large is the room you are painting in? Um, I think it's 20 by 15. It's not that, group, not that big. It's got a back door so it goes out to the pool and then I have a south facing window which is my favorite. I love having a south facing window since it's always sunny in here so it's just perfect. It's got tile floors but we put down cheap rugs. <laughs> what? Um, oh I love this you guys. Is this, is this one that you're going to think about keeping or? No I'm not keeping this one. I mean, you'll keep it, but no. I mean, it's you'll for also sale. sell it too. Right? Yeah, it's not for sale. I mean, it is for sale. Yeah, it's time for me to get it finished and get it out of here. We've had it, and I'm so um, happy with the the idea of doing the lily pads. I'm so glad you guys said that. Okay, Judy. Uh, she goes. So, why does Dion have blue tape on her fingers? Is this the new jewelry accessory? You got it. It's a trend, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Get hashtag some, hashtag painters tape on the fingers. Get just some painters tape up in here. Um, we're my, setting trends. That's what we're doing. We're setting trends. My finger hurts. I pulled some sort of ligament, and I'm just kind of babying it. That's all. I, it probably will be off tomorrow. I just wanted an extra day. Uh, she paints, oh, we know it's you when you've got a husband who is tidy and organized. Hi, Matt. We know who is behind the organization. Thank you, she paints. Yeah, but you just kind of threw me under the bus, sis. Like, <laughs> thanks a lot, Kristen. She knows what she's talking about. My gosh, she just threw me under. Threw me right under there. Look at this color that Amy sent me. All right. Oh, we got, uh, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce the name. Ubuntu, greetings from the Falkland, Falkland Islands, South America. Yeah. And she's been on here before. Yep, yep, she has. 
Thanks for joining us again. Working on a large canvas instead of starting a painting, or instead of starting another piece of furniture. Is Alice on or Karen Brown? Alice? Uh huh. Alice is on YouTube, yes. She's she is? here. Okay. Yeah, she's uh, greeting people. She's such a nice woman. We gotta meet her one day. Yeah. We gotta meet all these people one day. No. We're gonna make a we're gonna make a United States tour. <laughs> just gonna go around, just painting. This is so much fun. Having coffee. And... You don't drink coffee, babe. No, but I can have some ice water. You have some hot tea. Yeah, I can have some hot tea. Alexa, Alexia Vargas, beautiful. I love it from Puerto Rico. Thank you so much. Really enjoying the water, honey. So am I. That's right, Canada. We won't forget our Canada peeps up there. I know, I know. That's true. Um, have, and I want to see Canada regardless, but it's it's kind of a small place, so... Small? <laughs> <laughs> it's huge. I mean, yeah. I mean, it would take us like six months to get through Canada. Right? <laughs> How's it looking, guys? I'm going to need some more feedback. Is there... Oh, Mandy, can't forget about our friends in uh, Australia. Australia. Now that's where, that's a place. I, I knew wanna that go, was coming. I want to go down under. Down under. I want to go down under. In Australia. I want to give it a go. Give it a go. I want to give it a go. Over there. And then, obviously, we got to go see Teaspoon up there in, in uh, Hawaii. 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 And, okay, are we good here? Should I walk away from this section for a little while? I think you should just back up and... We can all just kind of look at it and... Uh, my knees hurt. You want your stool? Here's my mother from Mexico. Um, Alexa Vargas says, send me that painting. I have the perfect place for it. <laughs> you got it, girl. Okay. So I love the bottom and all of this, but what I don't know what I'm done, I need to work on this. I like it, but I don't know how to finish it. But I feel like I need to leave all of that alone. I love the, I absolutely love the color in it. Uh, Laura Spragato, question, name of the purple. Oh my gosh, teaspoons in Canada? Why is she on? Cherry picked. Did they say Aloha in Canada? I don't know. I don't either. I'm, I'm learning so much. It looks like a See, water I'm house. sorry. We'll come see you in Canada. Thank you, Sue, honey. I think. Uh, oh, hi, Mom. I should. Yes, you should. I should do what? You will figure it out. You always do. Thank you, Kathy. Um, this is just where I need to work right here. Like, when you're at Monet's Garden and you're standing on the, standing on the side, you actually see all of this. But right here... The, the willow tree is actually coming down just like this, just like it is in the paintings. I mean, it is for real. But this thing isn't necessarily like this. You just have a bunch of greenery and, you know, sprigs and things growing. And so this is a little bit large, but since we're going a different direction than we were originally, um, I need to figure this out. It almost looks like... Like, I don't mind this one, but I don't... This one's a little large. Your mom's telling you you need to work on that area. She says it doesn't look very good and you need to step it up. Mom. Work on that area. Very the, pretty though. The one thing that you have not put on this painting is some golden ticket. But yes, I did. Where have you been? Where, where did you I literally ticket? said I put yellow and then I put golden ticket all right here. Oh, and I'm I a, put it all on with my I'm hands. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was busy reading the comments. Man, it's so insulting.
Well, I don't really know what to do with it. Because, like I said, the real at Monet's garden, when you're standing there, the way this is all set up, it's coming down like this. Good night, Laura. From the tree. So I may have to just walk away from it. What do y'all think? Uh, Kathy says, what if you go larger on other side higher against left edge? Gail just says, sleep on it. Yeah. It's not a bad idea. Yeah. Except I'm having fun. <laughs> I'm totally feeling it, you know? Susan Norton says, Dion, you're right. Trust your instincts. Thank you, Susan. Ooh, you can do some tree branches. Robin Harris, and then you can add your willow branches. Just add stands of willow in from the top. Uh, koi fish reflection, it's a great idea. I think it really needs, this is how like, we do I, I, I really, really like the uh, willow. I'm getting there, son, honey. Oh, honey, is that what you're going to do? I'm getting there. you got to work on this. Hey, you can work hey. on all this, sweet cheeks. Being all bossy on me. It's, I am the assistant to the, I'm assistant to the assistant regional manager. Regional manager. <laughs> Did you just give me a new title? No. <laughs> I'm working on all this first. I don't know what time it is. We may need to just go. I don't know how long I've been on here. Tomorrow's Friday Night Live. I've got Quita's painting, so I will start on hers. 
She did the backdrop, and so I will be working on it. You guys, if you're on YouTube and you want to watch tomorrow, go over to Facebook. If not, you will see us here Saturday. Matthew will be on with me. I don't understand the process. Are you being for real? I, I am dead serious. If I you're... loved the top. You said you wanted willow brushes. That doesn't mean you cover up the, the whole... colors. You have to bring in the willow from the top yeah, and have will... the beaded have it all coming down. But willows are sparse. Honey, I was not I was not covering the colors. I was covering this plant thing. I can't watch this anymore. This oh my is, gosh. This, this is stressing me. You're a out. lightweight when it comes to art, bro. This You've got a lot to learn. Me and then, honey, you lift you then you go like this and you you use this and let all the pretty colors come through. <laughs> Mary Beth says, turn it upside down again and drip that area. Good idea. Oh, oh now, now they're ganging up on me. They're telling me to calm down. Calm down, Wes. <laughs> this is typically during the process that I like to walk out of the room. <laughs> and I go, I go find a nice, soothing, comfort movie to watch and then she'll scream at me scream i don't scream well, at not you scream. it's you more of a it's a really loud voice that says you mean because you're in the other room yes it says matt come here and i have to come running in here and what do, what do i want and then you just want me to look at it oh i'm like come on come on yeah, yeah I and then, I, then i'm like oh that looks really good yeah you're kind of my brain just doesn't work that way your brain. I, I, I know I trust the process. Your brain needs to lighten up. <laughs> All right. Yes, Mary Beth, thank you. My apartment is quality control. Like Matt being a baby. Like, like, <laughs> wow. I thought we were partners. In we that. are, sweetie. I love you. But when you question me like that, then I start to go. I understand. Like, give me a minute. I understand. I understand. Give me a minute. I know. I get it. Trust the process. Trust the process. See, like what I see right now looking on uh, on the screen, right? Right where you canceled out that big flower, I see a tree trunk coming up, and then the actual leaves or the limbs is the purple and the yellow. That's what I see. It looks really, really pretty what I'm looking at. Just walk away, Dion. Walk away. What? Well, as in I should be done? I mean, it's close. It's really cool. Give me a second, sweetheart. <clears throat> I can't just have it one color. I have to... You remember, I've been here. I've seen it in person. <laughs> uh. 
You're going to have this thing done tonight. I'm having so much fun. I don't even want to stop. I know I need my hot tea. I need to go to bed. Well, some of these people may need to go to bed. Well, they can go. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Oh, man. <laughs> Lisa Thompson Dixon. Uh-oh, Mommy and Daddy are fighting. <laughs> No, we very rarely do we fight. No, we really don't. We're both kind of people pleasers. Yeah, we are. Uh, yeah, we are. So we just kind of, we're pretty good to compromise. Keep the other one happy. I want him happy. We also don't like to bother each other. Like, we know. bicker. Oh, well, we bicker because we've ra we've been, we've grown up together. Well, it's usually, I mean, mine, mine is usually the best way. You know, I knew that was coming. I mean, I seriously knew that was coming. <laughs> Again, that's that predictable thing. I'm like, here he comes. Here he comes in with the whole, I'm, he's smarter and all of the things. Sorry if I miss, um, I'm sorry, Laura, she asked a question, I missed it. What is the color purple called, or did you mix it? The purple is called Cherry Picked. It's a new color from DIY, it came out in September. But I also, when it was kind of, when it went on with the blue iris, it kind of took on a little bit different color. But it's Cherry Picked. See, this is what it looks like on the screen. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking, like, these are like the actual limbs and the trees coming down, mm -hmm. and the trunk come back over here like it's out coming out over the water. Mm -hmm. That's what I had it. That's what mm -hmm. I was trying to explain to you. Yeah, that's not how it looks in person, though. It's pretty anyway. Thank you, though. Thank you so much, honey. Thank you, thank you. I am going to get some golden ticket, and I promise I'm going to end here in about three minutes, okay? And then I can just keep working on this, but I need to walk away from it for tonight. I'm just highlighting some of these willow. I'm not adding more. I'm just putting a little shimmer golden ticket as if they were sparkling, if they were kind of wet. This has literally been the longest painting I've ever done because, like I told you, I started it six months ago and never sealed it. I just needed it for a photo shoot, and then I never finished it, so I came back to it today. And I'm really happy with it. This, was, this has been a lot of fun, you guys. You bored, Matthew? No, I'm not. You're beating on your belly like you're bored. You're like you're literally pounding on your stomach. Yeah. <laughs> Val Ward tells you Miss Monet. Miss Monet. Thank you, Val. <clears throat> Are you going to spray the willow? Yes. I am. I'm letting it kind of set up just a second, and then I'll go back up there and spray it. Right now I'm putting some golden ticket as if there were a reflection in the water. Debbie Strait, you need to do some dripping kissing booth and yellow between the willow and the yellow. The willow and the yellow. Now that I can wrap. The willow and the yellow. That doesn't work for you? Nope. But, no, I didn't mind her. No, 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 what she said, but I was just teasing you about the wrap, honey. I was just, I was just focused. <laughs> you can wrap if you prefer. If you want. <laughs> She's saying that area right there. Yeah. I think it so. It does yes. need something for sure. Uh, Kimberly Gaines Russell, what is, your, what is your process? Do you have a vision for your painting or just let, it evo let them evolve? You usually always just evolve. I don't paint from pictures like 90% of the time. Today just totally evolved. 
I totally took a different route, which is why it looks different than it did 20 minutes ago. Um, had no direction whatsoever. I totally planned on this being an abstract formation. Um, but it took a, took a turn and... Um, oh, did it? I'm really... What does that mean? Yeah, Woods? It took a turn. <laughs> We're running on red on the computer. Are we really? Yeah. I had it almost fully charged. This must burn burn up a lot, huh? If we're gonna keep going, I'm like, I need to go get the charger. It's okay. We can say goodbye. You guys have been awesome. Thank you for um, supporting me on this little thing here. This has been fun. Um, we will see you tomorrow on Facebook, Friday Night Live, 8:30. If you don't make it over there, you will see both of us here painting live for the final day of my hundred lives in hundred days. And um, 8.30 Central Time on Saturday, and Matt and I will have a paint off. I appreciate you guys so much. We'll see you later. See ya. See ya.